Hey guys, uh, so I was thinking and today is gonna be a little bit different video than every day. I'm not gonna polish anything, I'm not gonna unbox, you know, tons of ember and one beside chick for insects and obviously I won't be hunting for ember in my apartment. What I'm gonna do is, well it's actually unboxing, <laughs> but I've got a new toy, a uh, hand digital microscope and uh, I hope it will be great for my content and you know to see if inclusions inside of Ember will look any better with this uh, microscope. Well it's not top quality that's why I'm a little bit afraid. And yeah now it's a little bit darker than every day I'm talking about the daylight because you know it's time of year when it's getting darker sooner and when I'm ending my job it's already kind of dark so I will try to make uh, video in this light and see how it goes. Let's go! So I just finished my work, so let's open this thing up and let's hope it's a microscope inside. So yeah, looks like a microscope indeed. Let's hope it will work half decent. A CD? Nobody uses that. I don't even have CD-ROM at this point. Okay, so we have our microscope right here. Let's set it up and try it out. And guess what? There is actually one more box to open. This one came from New Zealand and right now actually before opening I know what's inside. Someone sent me a gift. I love gifts. Let's see what's inside. I mean, I know what's inside, but <laughs> still curious what form, you know, or size. <laughs> so there's a bunch of stuff. So there is a bunch of rocks. This one is not rock. This thing is called cowrie gum. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So what is cowrie gum? It's kind of amber from the cowrie tree which uh, is growing in New Zealand. Yeah, so <laughs> it is copal. A lot younger than amber but it looks really hard like solid, like rocks. I wouldn't tell if you, that it's not amber. Yeah, very cool, very cool. And they got some sort of rocks also. I will have to ask about the rocks because I'm not sure what the rocks are. These are really pretty rocks. So yeah, I will have to ask about the rocks. Specifically this one. It's quite interesting rock. Is it even rock? Maybe it's a fossil? I have no idea. So, what's up with the gifts? I received it from a very cool guy. His name is Mamlambo, and he is also a fossil hunter and he owns a YouTube channel. Fun fact, I kind of... His channel was inspiration for me and I kind of started my own channel because uh, I was so inspired watching his content, so yeah, fun fact. So yeah, uh, I can't recommend you enough his content uh, he hunts all kinds of marine fossils in New Zealand, like some sort of cool crabs, whales, uh, penguins and whatnot, and all kinds of stuff, like sharks. So yeah, I will leave a uh, link in the description to his channel, go check him out. <laughs> For you fossil hunters, I'm probably you probably know who he is, so yeah. Thank you for your gifts, I will pay you back with Amber. <laughs> and can't wait to polish it and we'll ask about the rocks maybe it's some sort of agates, I don't know
so it does work on USB it seems so finally I got it working I see response I see my finger on my PC from this microscope uh, basically it took me a while to set it up because the software it is uses is on a CD and I don't have to where to put it I don't have a CD ROM you know so I was looking for the software software online uh, and there was some outdated software which I couldn't install on my operating system so finally I found it on you know torrents <laughs> and it's working so yay I will show you right now how does it look let's pick one stone I guess let's see the ant first from this piece the rest will wait okay so let's mount it on <laughs> when I see how does it look yeah this is image from amber <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? Nice details. Actually, I have to figure out uh, how to use it you now to get sorted out uh, the focus and everything else. So, give me a second. Okay, so let's see how does it work. I found this focus switch it's somewhere in here. Uh, wrong side, okay. There we go. Whoa! Look at this. Look at this, guys. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, let's find the ant. It's actually live view. Pretty cool, huh? Let's find the ant. Where is it? Where are you, baby? There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, let's put it down. Yep, 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 and let's focus it. <laughs> and let's try to take a photo of this one. Boom! <laughs> nice! Uh -huh. The next ant. Some bubbles. No, it's not shit, guys. I'm really happy. Where is that here? And I can't find it. Ah, there it is. Do you see it? The light doesn't really help. I need to figure out how to turn off the light. Yeah, but it's here. And we will try to take picture of this one also. Maybe we will put this one out. This is really fun, guys. <laughs> now we'll choose another piece. This time a spider. Or maybe both of the spiders. And we'll try to see those. Of course, you will see everything. Not just me. You will see stuff on in here. Okay. Not that easy, you know, to, to catch this focus because it's quite. The piece is really sensitive, you know, when you try to show anything. Oh my. This is awesome. It's actually quite hard to uh, do a justice for this nice spider because it's on the very corner and the view gets, you know, distorted by the ember. This is the very first spider I polished. It's also a very unfortunate position to, you know, get a close look on it. On all the insects, because the ember is distorting image, I have to hold them in the hands on a specific angle. 
and every little bit, you know, of movement of my finger is very... is very... noticeable. And this is some tiny mosquitoes. Very tiny, it's even hard to focus on it. And it was on my pretty much maximum. Yeah, and this is... I'm not sure, this one is also looks like a mosquito. Basically, I was playing with the microscope on all the insects I had. And it was already late, so I didn't play too long, but I still need to, you know, learn how to use it properly, the microscope. I promise I will get better in the future. <laughs> in such a close-up, you can see all the imperfections on the surface. Yeah, yet another mosquito. I have lot, lots of mosquitoes. This is fly in a very nice piece. It's the prison piece. And look at this color. Where does it come from? I think it's because it's wood in here and some mineralization happened that it gave this rainbow effect on amber. Really nice. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And bye.